you come to your senses yet? Oh, the grab a talking boat! <laughs> You're surprisingly dull witted. He had the exact same reaction as we did, except I didn't have my head in the lake. Did I startle you? I suppose it's only natural. As wide as the world is, I'm the only boat upon it who can speak words of me. I am the king of red lions. That's kind of a crappy thing to be a king of. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Link. How do you know our? How do you know my name? I've never been introduced. I have been watching you since you went to the four second fortress to rescue your sister. I understand your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. Thanks for telling us now. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm of ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the god has failed, but now Ganon has returned. The world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. So, the gods are failures? Okay. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Yes. Do you believe anything to save her? Yes, yes. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you what you should do and where you should go. Alright, fine. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone the little strength you possess. He Ganon is locked away in the power you can wield only after much toll and hardship. Do you understand? Yes! In that case, we depart. To the Great Sea! Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. But with no sail can sail no seas. Brought you to the far east. How'd you bring us anywhere if you don't have a sail? Seriously, how could he have brought... I seriously doubt he could have drifted right to an island, okay. So, he will need to get... We will need to get a sail here. Alright, fine, we can do that. Now, merch is under many valuable goods. The sail must come first, you know, feel... Alright, fine. We will go ahead and buy the sail here, though. There are a few other things that we can do while we're here, which we're gonna get to do. Um... Now we, of course, like I said, we're going to be getting the sale though, but there's quite a few side quests that you can do while you're here, actually, that I'm going to want to be covering. Um, okay, like we need this intro. Got a little kid there walking around like he's Mr. Fancy Pants, and then we got some really ugly moms. And we got these overly adorable little kids. Can't you see we're busy? They're super cute and all, but that doesn't mean you can just come up and talk to us whenever you like. Jeepers! You know what else I can do? Ah, die, flowers! Die! What do you think about that? I just took away from your cuteness factor by 10%. Okay, but anyway, uh... Oh, sorry. Did not mean to do that. Uh, we got old man pedophile over there. He's gonna chase after you, though, but we're just gonna ignore him for now. And I seriously cannot believe I just said that. Um, where you get the sale is very simple. All you have to do is just walk up to this guy right here. He will sell you something, then he will not tell you what it is. It's 80 rupees. Go ahead and just go for it and buy it, and he will go ahead and give you the sale. It's simple as that. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and get started on some of the little side quests that you can do here. Uh, first off being, uh, that guy over there is actually part of one though, but we're not going to get into that one now. You're going to be going to Windfall Island several times throughout this game. Windfall Island, sorry, Windfall Island, uh, several times throughout this game, so don't worry, we're not going to do all of them right now, we're just going to do a few of them, and we're going to do them gradually as we come back here. Um, the first one you can do here is, this one's going to be important for later, much later in the game though, but I recommend you get it out of the way for now, just because, you know, might as well get it done now, because it's really easy to do. Just go ahead and open this door, and we have, for Zelda phonetics out there, you would know Tingle. This here is Tingle. Yay! Hooray! Thank you so very much. Here's Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle? Tingle? Kulumpa! Become an item! God, I love that. Kululimpa! 
<laughs> he does the same pose as you. This is the single tuner. Basically what this does is if you have a Game Boy Advance, you can hook up to your Nintendo GameCube or Nintendo Wii or whatever you're playing this on through a Game Boy Advance to GameCube Link Cable. You can get hints from Tingle on the Game Boy Advance screen. It's kind of helpful if you get lost. It can also give you hints. Um, it's kind of like uh, what I'd recommend if you got like a friend over and you got like a parent who wants to help you play or, you know, if you want to get this game for your kids and you don't really know much about games. Uh, you hold the Game Boy Advance while your kid plays and you can help your kid by giving him hints. And he will also give you the Tingle chart. Uh, this is an introduction of C charts in this game, which uh, we'll get into a little bit later. Um, C charts, they basically... Um, this is a huge world that we're in, and the C charts just tell you where to find stuff, and that Tingle chart just tells you where to find Tingle again, which isn't going to be important for a long, long time, so we're not going to show that right now. But uh, what you can do here is go ahead and crouch into this hole go into my hole, sorry, <laughs> um, but there is a specific route that you can take through here, and I'm a freaking nerd for knowing it, I know, uh, anytime that you see those wooden boards, do not go that way, whatever you do, that is very, very bad, uh, you will basically get thrown out, like, there'll be, like, a little rat there that'll kick you out, um, just keep on going forward here, all the way till you can't go forward no more, and now just keep going forward again till you can't go forward no more. It's pop. I was trying to sound like Popeye, but I ended up sounding like Bev Bighead right there. Jeez. <laughs> God, my Popeye impression sucks. Uh, you're going to earn back a few rupees that you spent. Um, but anyway, um, go into this room right here. And it's a treasure chest. Again, I sound like Beth Big Head. <laughs> Jeez. Um, go ahead and get this. I got that thing. We get a Picto Box. This thing is going to be important for some side quests later. We're not going to cover the side quest right away. I just thought it'd be good to get it now. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get out of here. Now that we're kicked out, this will put us right in front of the King of Red Lines. He's going to be all like, oh, you got your sale. Yes, I understood all that, even though I didn't read anything. At sea, with few landmarks to go by, you'll be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place we should currently be heading on your sea chart. Get lost at sea, simply press up on your control pad to be a sea chart. Same to view your dungeon map. Simple as that. But we're not going to be doing that quite yet. We have a few other side quests that I'd like to get done while we're here, just for the hell of it. Now the first, uh, and I guess only side quest we're going to be tackling this time around, just because we can't 100% do any of the others quite yet, uh, you're going to want to go into this house, go ahead and talk to this guy right here who looks very enthusiastic about his job, and for 10 rupees you can play a game called Battle Squid. Hey, hey. <laughs> Welcome to the fleet, I am the Great Admiral Dolvolsky, and look sharp for the e for we are the solo protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert, all hands on deck. Zonar shows the schools of deadly giant squid are approaching. Other ships prepare for battle. What a fair! Ah! Oh! I see! The ends approach! There are three squid groups, a large one, a medium one, and a small one. If we allow them to come any closer, the children on the island will be in grave danger. So let's take command of our new radar system and seek the ship out of these fiendishly hidden enemies. Be warned, we only have 24 cannonballs that you can fire. Destroy the marching squid boats, and you must score four direct hits on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Use control st Okay, whatever. Uh, hi, hi, sir. Um, what's going on? Okay, now, the high score is 20 cannonballs. Um, if you can... You can get some treasure charts by doing this, which, like I said, we'll get into later on. I'll explain those in a little bit once we start getting more of them and we go out into the high seas. Um, but the main thing is, if you can beat this game at all, you get a piece of heart. So let me just go ahead and cut ahead to me doing this, because it's all luck, really. Kaboom! Done! I, on my first time, I even beat the high score! <laughs> Excellent work, Sailor, your deeds have... Okay, I'll stop reading like that, even though some people might think it's funny. <laughs> I, th I hate talking like that. Hooray! Hooray! Yay! Yay! Thank you, Mr. Sailor! Please take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude! You're so great! I don't know why she sounds British, but whatever. Maybe she, it's like British-Canadian. 17, that's a new record. See, so you get this too! da da da, -da! Thanks for playing. Alright, whatever. 
And after you win a second time, you will get. Yay! Again. And because you have done this twice, you. A heart. Another treasure chart. And unfortunately, after that, I think all you will get. Um, well, actually, after that, you will get 100 rupees for winning, which is nice, but. Of course, not. Like, I guess if you wanted to sit around and grind rupees, you could do that, though. But, uh, anyway, that does it for all the stuff that you can do here on Windfall Island, though. So now that we're done with the side quest here and we've gotten another piece of heart, uh, we're gonna take off. Now, this is not nearly all the side quests you can do on Windfall Island. There are so many side quests you can do here, though. Just so many of them we can't even do right now because of just our limited selection of items. I mean, seriously, all we got is a friggin' telescope. So, uh, anyway... Uh, let's just go ahead and... GTFO, I guess. Alright, so... Let's just go ahead and hold R to cruise out of this little nook that we're in. Like Tom Nook. And let's go ahead and take a look at our sea chart. That area right there is where we gotta go next. So, in that case, next time on Legends of the Wind Waker, we're gonna be taking off to that place. See you guys then.